Hello, I'm Kyle Wolver, the Director of Logistics for Superior Ambulance Service. Today, we want to demonstrate our decontamination processes in both our ambulance operations and our wheelchair van paratransit operations in light of the recent COVID-19 situation. First and foremost, the safety of our crews, our patients, our customers, and our communities is of the utmost priority here at Superior Ambulance. When dealing with the COVID-19 situation, we ask that you wear the correct PPE given for the situation and that you don and doff it correctly. If you have questions, please refer them to a member of management or look for the documentation that was put out previously. When dealing with a COVID-19 patient, it's imperative that post-transport, we allow for a 30-minute air exchange process to happen. We want to open the doors to either vehicle for 30 minutes and allow for that air exchange to happen. Make sure that you're wearing correct PPE while doing this process, and if you have questions, please refer to the guidance that was pushed out earlier. Let's demonstrate our manual sprayer. To begin with, we always want to make sure we have on a fresh set of gloves. Inside of the container, you're going to have your container, your sprayer, instructions, and 10 tablets. We'll fill the container full of water. We'll add one tablet to the solution. I'm not going to do it for demonstration purposes today and to save the product. Allow that to dissolve for five minutes and the solution is ready. We add our top. The nozzle comes closed. We want to make sure we open it to get a nice misting solution. Once the solution is made, we want to add a piece of tape here, put the date as the solution is only good for five days. The next crew knows if the solution is past that five days, they need to change out the solution. Let's start in the front of the ambulance. You want to take your solution, spray the mist over the entire surface of the front of the vehicle to ensure that we get good coverage, good amount of moisture on it all, and we want to let that sit for two minutes to allow for the decontamination to process. We're going to let it air dry after this. It's important to note I did not spray the entire front of the vehicle for demonstration purposes. Once done with the front, we move to the back of the ambulance. Same process. We take the manual sprayer. We spray the solution over the entire back of the ambulance, making sure that we get all surfaces wet. We want that to stay wet for two minutes for the decontamination process to occur. We work our way through the entire ambulance for demonstration purposes and time. We will not be doing the entire back of the ambulance, but we spray the entire back, make sure we get our ceiling, make sure we get our floors, allow this to air dry. Once the air dry is done, your decontamination process is done. Let's talk about the cop with the manual sprayer. To begin, same as before, we want to take any linen, if, there's, if it's on the cot, off of the cot. We always want to make sure we check the, the cot mattress for any rips and tears. If we see one, make sure that we exchange that out with the logistics department. We can either use our manual sprayer to spray down the entire cot. For demonstration purposes, I will not be spraying the entire cot. We can also utilize the Sidekick Striker Wipe to manually wipe down the entire cot with the wipe. Again, it's important to that we make sure we get all buckles and all straps clean so that way we have a decontaminated cot. That completes our decontamination process of the ambulance. As always, if you have questions, please refer to your station manager or you can ask the logistics department as we are always here to help. Thank you for everything you guys are doing through this COVID-19 situation.